Benedici, Paisanici, and welcome to the special Italian episode of the Ultra Pro Cooking Show. Today we're making pasta carbonara, an authentic Italian dish that any Italian will tell you is basically breakfast pasta. So for this recipe you will need eggs, pasta, black pepper, Parmesan cheese, not garlic as some Italians would lie to you about, and guanciale. Guanciale is Italian for pork, so basically you can use anything from hot dogs to pork chops, or in my case, bacon. Like any good pasta dish, the first thing we have to do is make this dry pasta into wet pasta. But before we do the first thing you have to do for any good pasta dish, we're gonna cut up this bacon into more manageable pieces. So when you're cutting raw meat, you're gonna wanna use a sharp knife, because if you don't use a sharp knife, then you're using a blunt knife, and to use a blunt knife is more dangerous than to use a sharp knife because you can really hurt yourself and you don't want to hurt yourself when you're cooking. The second thing to do before we start the first thing is to make the sauce. Now the sauce is very easy to make. It's just a hard cheese like Parmesan and black pepper. Now, traditionally they use Pecorino Romano which I believe is Italian for Parmesan which is the cheese I'm using. So you want to grab a microplane and you want to just grate the cheese into a fine powder like what I'm doing. You want it in a fine powder, that way it'll melt when you add it to the pasta. And now that we have our Parmesan here, we're going to add our pepper. Now some folk will tell you you can add garlic to a carbonara, and they're not wrong because the Italians are very versatile in their dishes. But I'm not going to use it to stay authentic. Now that we've got our plast all mise in, we can start actually making the pasta. So we're gonna take this pan here and fill it with cold water. You'll want the water to come up about three quarters of the pan, like so. Now we're gonna take our pasta and we're gonna wash it to get the excess starch off. So there, now that it's rinsed, we can start cooking it. This next step is crucial. Do not skip this step. Be sure to salt the water. You want the water to be salty. But while we're waiting for the water to boil, I figure I should tell you people a quick secret about spaghetti carbonara. We're waiting for the water to boil. Let's check the mail cat. Caro Dalton, sembra delizioso ma sono pieno. Convierte, Umberto. Sorry, Umberto, I don't speak this language, but thank you anyway. Now that we've got our water on the boil, we will add our pasta. Uh oh, seems it isn't big enough. Italy, look away. Now that we've got our pasta in, we'll put a lid on and set a timer for eight minutes. While the pasta's cooking, in a separate pan, we're going to start cooking our bacon. Even though we said we set a timer, we're still gonna quickly check the pasta because sometimes it can cook faster and sometimes it cooks slower. So we're gonna take one and we're gonna try it. And that pasta's ready to strain. So for this next step, we're gonna have to move pretty quick so there won't be any camera angle changes. I'm gonna take this strainer and I'm going to go strain the pasta. I will be right back. Now that we have our pasta strained, we're going to add it to our cooking bacon. Now to this, we shall add our cheese and pepper sauce. And now finally, we add the egg. So here we have it, authentic spaghetti carbonara. I'm sure the entire country of Italy will agree that this is 100% authentic, and now I'm gonna eat it. Well, bottoms up, or as the Italians say, molto bene. The beauty of this dish is that you can have it breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert if you really wanted to. 
and it's so easy to make. I guarantee you, you probably have all the ingredients to make this in your fridge right now. So do yourself a favor, in honor of National Italiano Day, make yourself some spaghetti carbonara. Bon Appetito. I'm sorry, this isn't the British episode. I'll make this for the British episode. Well, no. <laughs>